Good morning. Welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, October 30th. You know what that means. We're going to do a quick review, then we're going to go to you and see what's going on in your garden. Yeah, it frosted last night. See the frost on the deep mulch. Wow. Yep, it frosted. The sun's coming up. Doesn't look like it got hit too bad. Our second turmeric flower off the volunteer turmeric still amazes me. We got frost. Now we're going to have quite a little bit of harvesting to do this week. We got radishes that are uh, getting out of hand. We still got ladybugs. I've got a whole bunch of peppers and containers in the garage. Our jalapeno, it's now warmed up enough. Our jalapeno that we overwintered last year, I wanted to make sure we protected it. It seems like it's made it through okay. We'll find out here in a little while. A quick word on the deep mulch. See this nice little layer of grass that have started growing? It's been over a week since we dug the sweet potatoes in this area. This ground has been uncovered and it rained for four days. Mother Nature is going to make sure this ground gets covered one way or the other. I need to get busy and get some more mulch in here. We put four inches on here, this will all disappear. But if I don't, this will just keep growing. Now the lettuces, it made it through this frost without any problem. We expected that to happen. One experiment we're still following is this bale. And we planted carrots. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull these carrots. <laughs> oh, that one split. Well, and then we got some little little guys. Let's go ahead and get the <laughs> Let's get the rest of these out. The bale is nice and soft and allows these to get pretty long, it looks like. Well, some of them. Let's see what else we have. Some of these leaves are showing some pretty good damage, but these peppers don't look like they've been hurt too bad. While I go ahead and pick some more peppers, let's go across America and take a look at what's going on in your gardens. Vinny and Larry are bringing us the color of fall from North Carolina where their hot peppers are still going strong. Thank you for the update, Larry. Denise is preparing for the winter, but most of her summer vegetables are loving this cool weather. Your garlic looks great. Denise has a couple of really good ideas she wants to share with us in upcoming episodes. Denise, thank you for sharing your garden all year long. You've been a true inspiration to this community. Aren't those great? I invite you to celebrate your garden with us. Just email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. The address is in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more. Wow, Jim still has cucumbers growing in his Missouri container garden. Although he is starting to move some of his peppers and basils inside, the frost is coming. Thank you, Jim. Keep us updated. Art's raised bed garden is still giving him a pretty good harvest even as it winds down. I knew I was going to get to taste his habanero sauce. It's not habanero jelly, but it's habanero. There's nothing to it. You know, it's really good. It started off very sweet, it ended up pretty warm. 
Art, that squash looks delicious. Thank you. Hot pepper. Hot peppers are delightful. Please leave a comment down below and let everybody know how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their garden. I sure hope this made it through last night. We'll know here in a little bit. But we got a ton of little bitty peppers all over this thing. I don't think the green tomatoes got hurt. We will go ahead and pick the rest of these over the next couple days. They are starting to split a little bit because of the extra rain that we've had. While I inspect this, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Now Bear's traveling. He stopped off at a farmer's market this morning looking for another variety of tomatoes that he could save seeds from. He's got, a, he's got quite a few to choose from. Thank you, Bear, and safe travels. So the goal is to dig up the lotus roots and save them for next spring. To do that, I need to get them out of the pot, cut them up, drop them in this bucket that has mostly water but some bleach, and then I will put them in plastic bags and seal them up and put them in the fridge. First thing I have to do is cut away all this foliage because I'm going to have to empty these pots out. Scott wanted to share how he harvests his first year's lotus roots. Now we still have some lotus seeds available. All you have to do is email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. The address is in the description box below. We still have a few left. We'd love to give them to you. Still hoping to have a series next spring on rooting, planting, growing, harvesting, and eating lotus. Join us. Now, as it's as the sun's coming up, these leaves were burnt. I don't think it killed the whole vine, but we're gonna have to harvest this pretty quick. Just with the bales around the zucchini, it looks like it made it through last night. Everything in this cold frame looks like it made it through pretty well last night. Well, I continue to inspect the garden. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Now it's still warm in Texas, and Valerie's second go at watermelons coming out of the bale is doing very, very well. Look how delicious this looks. This is why we do it, because it tastes good. Thank you, Valerie. As the sun's hitting this, these sweet potato vines don't look like they were hurt too bad. They're still very, very good. But fall definitely is sweet potato season. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Fall is for sweet potatoes, that's for sure. Let's welcome a new contributor to this community, Dairy from California. That's 27 pounds of purple sweet potatoes from a 3x3 three three raised bed. That's terrific. Thank you, Dairy, and welcome to this community. You may remember meeting Wynn when I gave out these sweet potato slips this spring. Well, this is the Adams Family Homestead Hall. Wynn used some masonry mixing containers. That's a great idea. That's a wonderful harvest. Thank you for sharing. Leon brings us his walkabout from his Missouri container garden. Leon's haul of sweet potatoes is very nice. Thank you, Leon, for the update. Keep us posted. This is awesome. Aren't these all just terrific? Yep, the green beans made it through. I'm not going to take the chance on the really cold frost. That will kill them out. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of these off this week. I'm not sure how the ochre fared last night. We'll know here in a little bit. This is why we want to save these tomatoes. They're just loaded. Peppers, the basil, sweet potatoes. They all look like they came through last night okay. <laughs> when I open that door up, the smell of basil is almost overpowering it is that good anyhow we would like to keep as much of this going as long as we can I really do appreciate you stopping by and spending a few minutes to help celebrate what our friends and neighbors are doing I also want to thank you for stopping by and 
helping me inspect the garden after this first frost. You know, you can do this too. It's not that hard. This smells wonderful. Remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.